Hello everyone and today is December 19th 2022 and once again we've got Elon Musk in the news. Uh, so he set up a little poll here and he asked should I step down as head of Twitter and I will abide by the results. I can say so much about this. Uh, he said he wouldn't sell any more Tesla stock, right? And he's done it like twice already after he said no. And then now he's going to step down, which uh, this is a great example of showing you guys how this will detour your stock. Okay. Everything was going down as it's supposed to because it's overbought and it's correcting itself. And because Elon did this, Tesla starts going up in the pre market about five, six dollars, which that's not how you uh, value a stock. But, anyways, he's in the news again. He says he's going to step down and we'll see. If he does, and we'll see who he hires, but so far, he says he's out. All right, and another interesting story. We've got Donald Trump in the news again. They just won't let this man breathe, right? So now they have a committee who approved uh, criminal referrals against Trump. So I've never heard about criminal referrals, but it sounds like uh, they're indicting him. I don't know. So more to come there, but uh, I think his uh, stock is going to take a detour as well. Uh, we'll see what they say about um, anything he did on January 6th. But uh, last in the news, and this is going to be a big deal. So Samuel Bankman Freed decides that he wants to come to the U.S. and be tried. At first, he said he was going to fight it. Now he's not. After spending a few nights in a rat-infested, maggot-infested prison, and where they have prisoners, from what I understand, uh, carrying out human feces in buckets, uh, he decides to come to the U.S. And it looks like his strategy is going to be a fast and speedy trial so that the U.S. doesn't have enough evidence on what they're trying to uh find him guilty of but more to see on this uh but looks like he is waiting for a plane as this video is being made and he will be flown over to the u.s really soon and of course what is this going to do to the stock market well the cryptocurrency is going to be tested because whatever happens to him it looks like a lot of companies are being asked to get out of it so that they know or they can tell their um, coin holders that there is money to be able to pay them out. So we'll see pretty soon. And do me a favor, don't forget, okay? Appreciate if you guys subscribe, hit the like button, it helps the channel out a lot. So let's go to the charts. All right, so let's go ahead and start with Apple. And you guys can see right above here. Let me see. My finger can touch the line. Uh, almost did, right? I almost got there. All right. That yellow line is support for Apple. Right now, it's looking at 129. If Apple breaks that, we're going to see a real downturn in the market, which, again, it's supposed to happen because Apple was overbought for a while here. Uh, if you guys check your RSI on the daily, it was high, high, high. All right, so let's go Amazon. Amazon's doing the same thing, it's testing some support. So we could see Apple, Amazon dropping. They could take the market with them. And also Google. Google is already in a downtrend. Poor Google just doesn't get a fair shake. If you look at the <laughs> chart, it just goes back and forth, back and forth. Uh, not much movement there, but it is making a move down. And it looks like it might test some support pretty soon. Now, Microsoft looks like it might have given up the fight because now it's not rallying up. It's coming down, but it did come into a support level today at around 240. Uh, so we'll see what happens tomorrow because uh, there is a surprise I think is coming. But let me cover a couple more stocks and I'll give you guys that information. So Tesla came down. Of course, we know Tesla. If you guys follow the stock market, if you follow updates, okay, Tesla's in a really bad spot on the weekly and on the monthly. So 
But let me show you something real quick about Tesla because there's a lot of predictions that this stock is going to go down to about $40, anywhere between 40 and 80. Okay, so if you're familiar with gaps, okay, and you come over on the one year, if you look at Tesla for the last couple of years because of COVID, right, we had to run down, then it started running up, and now it's about to start filling this gap on the way down and if i turn on my volume profile we can see that tesla has support around 3594 maybe 40 51 51 dollars so anywhere in there so this is why we're talking about 40 dollars got a gap to fill and I know that when it gets down to 40, I'm a buyer, but for now, beware if you're trying to go long with Tesla. Okay, and last but not least, we've got QQQ. QQQ had a pretty messy day today, but it is following now with Microsoft. It is trending down. It's testing support here around the 269 level. If Apple and everybody else goes down, I can see QQQ falling as well. And one thing I want to point out to you guys, if you understand rising wedges, okay, uh, we do have SPY here, okay, it's already broken the wedge twice, okay, and there's a few over here, if you go in the past, there's a few that it did, and it's just repeating itself, so came up, now it's falling down, so beware with SPY, and let's take a look at our favorite SPX, continues to hit resistance and head down um now spx did fall a little bit more than what folks thought so it did test a previous level here and let me highlight this for you guys so spx is down around 37.98 area 37.99 we got there and we bounced off and then at the end it was just hanging out around 3800 and of course the stock market started going up as we closed and what usually happens is the market makers were trying to get it up so it can close a little bit higher and then you started having the interchange between the puts and the calls are being bought now if you have a platform that provides you that information you will see that there are a uh, tons of calls that were purchased okay and what happens is when people start buying calls in these areas here okay um the market makers are not going to let the stock go up that way so uh I could see this rising tomorrow and then we'll continue to go down. But be aware, there's a lot of calls being purchased. So that means if a lot of calls are being purchased, you will see a downtrend. Same for the opposite. If you see a lot of puts being purchased, then the stock price might go up because nobody's going to want to sell those puts or calls if there's a ton that needs to be uh, sold. All right. So this is what we have for now. And just want to tell you one last thing. If you guys are interested in bearish swings, okay, sign up for my stock watch list. Okay, I told everybody today in the bull ring. Okay, we do have Airbnb, ABNB is falling. So I opened up a small position here to test it on paper trade. But you can see since the beginning, this is it for Airbnb it does not have any more support under here um we could see this stock continuously fall and especially next year um if the economy heads down as it's going i don't know if a lot of people are going to be purchasing and getting into airbnbs like they did the previous year so if you're interested keep this on your watch list it is going down and i'll be curious to see where it's at by the end of the week so until the next time team we'll see you on the next video wishing you a green day tomorrow